Hi, this is Mick. Um, this is just a quick uh, video, oh, maybe not quick, I don't know, of um, my, pro my progress with the new Phenolic tabletop. As you can see, my machine, I have no top on it. I've got the ducts, I got the um, vacuum ducts in there. So, down on the side here, you can see holes where the the old tabletop used to be. So, I was trying to figure out how to map the holes in uh, in the spire. So, when I lay the new tabletop on, I can just run the file. Um, I could have just laid the old tabletop on top of the new one, um, but I want to move the spoiler board, the tabletop, over about a quarter of an inch. So what I decided to do, and um, I got a lot of help from uh, Mike Queen from WinCNC. So what I'm doing now is I am actually going to show you how I do it. So I actually have a touch probe. I've had the touch pro for a while, I use it for other stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm going to lower the touch pro into the hole. I'm just going to get the center of the hole. I'm going to run a file, it's going to be a center finder, it's going to touch this side, touch the other side, go to the center, come close to here, then go to the far side. So I'm going to run the file and I'll show you again in a minute. So here we go. And you can actually probably see the values on this uh, handheld, you see increase and decrease. So I touch one side, touch the other side to the center, and back. So I have my values here. Let's see if I can get it in. Uh, so it's 14.07. It's probably pretty blurry because I got 14.07, 1.162. I'm going to run the same file again. Fourteen point one oh seven, one point six three. So I'm one thousand off on Y. I can live with that. So I'm going to lift it up, and I'll show you on a different hole. So I'm going to lower it down into there. And I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit more. It's pretty hard to see, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it way off center. It's way off center now. It's right down in the corner. I'm going to run the file. Touches one side, comes back, touches the other side, comes back, comes towards me, goes away, back to the center. So I've just found the center of the hole really quick on the, uh, oh no, that's going to be way out of focus. But anyway, on the screen, I can see it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you to, so now you've seen what I've done, I'm going to take you to the screen and I'm going to start, um, 
I'm going to show you what I do with the information I get. Uh, so I'm at the screen now. A um, few things. In the uh, left hand corner, lower left, is two uh, buttons, two icons. It shows a circle with a line through them. These are just buttons I created. One says slow, one says fast. The fast one is the one I just did inside that PVC um, uh, tube for my vacuum. It runs at 30, you can see here 30. Um, so that's that. Um, here is a green button and when I touch the probe it will go red. So I'm going to manually touch the probe. So it changes red, it's just an identifier, then I know it's working. So you saw it last time, so now you see it on the screen. If I click this button here, it'll go across to uh, Z low, and when it hits the probe, when the probe hits the edge of the material, you'll get an arrow here or a triangle. This light's going to come on. When it goes to the other side of the hole on X, you'll get one here. Light will also come on. Then it will go to the center, which we saw. Then it will come uh, low Y, high Y, and each time you will get a uh, red light here blinking. So here we go. I'm going to run the program. There we go. Started. There was uh, the left and the light here light come on again you saw now we're moving on the Y light come on again here so now we're finished so my value is 14926 for X and 14824 I'm just writing them values down so I'm going to rerun it again. There we go. That's one side. That's the other side. Now we're doing Y. So the value we got first time was 14,926 on X, which is the same. And we have 14,824. So I'm one thousandths off. Here is uh, the, uh, you can see the position on my viewer. So what I do with these values is if I drag wincing um, Aspire across, um, here is my X0, Y0 in the lower left hand corner of my material. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to put in 14,926 for X and I'm going to put in 14,823 for Y. I want to 2.4 inches diameter for the PVC tube and I hit create. So we can see here uh, it put a circle. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'll see if I can zoom in. So here are the uh, small holes, the 0.26 diameter threaded holes in my frame. And this is the location of the vacuum PVC pipe, which obviously I need to cut a hole in my phenolic tabletop. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.